There is good news for people that want to protect the oceans. That is marine protected areas, but in particular in the United States, it's national marine sanctuaries. Sanctuaries were created specially to preserve, to protect, and to share why they are important with uh, the rest of the country. These areas are all very important because inside them they protect not only coral reefs and fish populations or the migration routes of whales or sharks, they also protect thousands of shipwrecks. These wrecks are protected and they sit in a way as exhibits in an undersea museum. At Thunder Bay, hundreds of shipwrecks, almost perfectly preserved by the cold, fresh waters of Lake Huron, are available for divers to explore and to dive in while the Maritime Heritage Center back at the sanctuary's headquarters in Alpena, Michigan, gives visitors on land a chance to see what these ships are all about, why they're important, what they look like, how they went to the bottom, and the people stories associated with them. On the west coast of California, we're working now to document more of these shipwrecks and discover wrecks that the history books or old newspapers say to us are out there, but we haven't yet seen or put our eyes on. So over the last few years, we've discovered a few of those wrecks, and most recently, we found a wreck that wasn't supposed to be there at all. It was a ship that had sailed out and disappeared almost 100 years ago. It still remained undiscovered and one of the top mysteries of the ocean until thanks to a regular survey of Greater Farallon's National Marine Sanctuary, we found a shipwreck, and as we looked at it and examined it, it turned out to be this long missing ship with 56 crew. So not only were we able to solve a mystery, not only were we able to say this is a very important wreck sitting here and protected in this sanctuary, but we were able to reach out to the families of those 56 men and say, after 95 years, we know where your grandfather, your great uncle, your cousins, we know where they are. They're at peace resting at the bottom of the sea in a shipwreck that is now full of marine life. It is their grave, but it is also part of a rich and important marine sanctuary that has been set aside to protect such things. Not only do I think that gave these families some closure, an opportunity to say, at last I know what happened, but also some satisfaction that we're looking out for these guys as we do so many other things in the marine sanctuary system.